Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader uh, nightly wrap up show. Hope everybody is doing well. So, going into today, if you guys watched last night's video, I'm saying to myself, you want to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt, right? He's saying to yourself, look, we're still over the 50 day moving average. They got to be balancing, right? They, they have to balance. And then, slowly but surely, when you started seeing today play out, as we talked about last night in the video, yeah, you know, there was definitely some shorts that we were looking at. And obviously, if you traded today, you saw some pretty big moves today uh, in snow. Uh, you know, Netflix came back down, Meta got really, really hit. And then you started focusing on you started focusing on what the general market was doing. And, you know, you had a pretty decent sell off uh, into the close and in the process. You know, the bulls, you know, gave up the 10 day moving average, but it held on to this whole area here. And the reason why this area here was so important, this is kind of where the, the, the this whole market breakout started, right? The, the problem with today's move was to the downside, it gave up this 296.75 area. And the question was, were the bulls going to hang on to the 50 day moving average, which played out to 293.50? That was a very, very big number. And so we obviously had some pretty big, reports tonight and now obviously today uh, after the close it was going to set a tone either we were going to completely lose the 50-day moving average and completely just started getting hit again or was app you know was was microsoft was google was chipotle or they were going to save the day and you know they, they they really did the right thing because if you look at the after hours action you see some really big moves uh, on a lot of names uh, Google, you know, really good uh, earnings report, uh, which is which is very, very odd to say that because they missed, and I'm saying that sarcasm, they missed on both the top and bottom line. Microsoft, same thing. They missed both on the top and bottom line. And this is where kind of we talk about this all the time. Sometimes good news is good news. Sometimes bad news is bad news. That's why all the people who are trying to handicap earnings, it, it doesn't make any sense. You, you could have the earnings literally in your hand. If you told me, right, if you put Google into my hand, you said, look, they're gonna miss the top and bottom line. You say to yourself, well, Google must be down 10, 15%. And you look up and Google's having a really, really nice move in the after hours. Microsoft, after the initial move lower in the after hours with the same news, right? They missed both on the top and the bottom line. They reversed very, very quickly and now it's up. And when you look at names, for example, like Chipotle, right? It's moving up. You got Texas Instruments, it's moving up. You have ENPH. Right, it's moving up. So you had a really, really good night coming out on its horse and really saving the day. And if you look at the cues right now after the close, where we were literally a day away from giving back the 50 day moving average. And if you look at the closing price where the cues right now, they've reclaimed, right? They've reclaimed that 296.75 area where the market broke out. And now we're right around here. So now the big area for the bulls going into tomorrow's session can they reclaim the previous day's high? Because remember, and this is the most basic thing of technical analysis, and this is kind of where we, we kind of reiterate this point over and over and over again. A stock or an ETF cannot go higher if it doesn't take out the previous day's high. The stock cannot go lower if it doesn't take out the previous day's low. And if you look at the previous day's high, not today, but the previous day's high, that's also the five day moving average on the queues. So if the queues can get above 302.50 tomorrow, then yeah, we could start our next move higher. And tomorrow we have a, a, an obviously another big slew of big earnings, but at least if we can get above that 302.50 area and reclaim the five day, which is the shortest term sentiment, then the bulls are back in town. But I tell you, and, and, and I, I, made a, I, I made a watch list uh, before I went to pick up my son from basketball training. I made a watch list. It was all going into tomorrow. It was all sell buys, literally all sell buys because I saw Microsoft down. I saw this one down. And by the time I, come, I, I came back and I'm recording this video right now, I just tweeted on, 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 on the Twitter feed. I'm like, yo, I got to make a new watch list. They, they made, all these prices are completely gone, right? All these prices are gone. And the most important part is now the question is, can the bulls sustain this, right? That's the, the biggest question going into tomorrow's session. 
Can the Bulls sustain it? If they can't, obviously it's going to be a big problem, but at least the Bulls have a really good overnight value tier system going into tomorrow's session that at least they can hang their hats on and say, hey, we at least defended prices whether it was the regular session or the after hour session that played out, but at least we defended the areas. Now let's see if we can get above this 30250 level and move higher. And if you look at the spies today, right? That was, just, it was the same thing. The spies at one point lost the 50 day moving average, right? I mean, this is how hairy things were very, very close. They, they always talk about the analogy, how baseball is a game of inches, right? You could hit a ball and, and you could go within an inch of the foul ball, a uh, foul into fair and it could completely turn the game. That's what today was. I mean, the, the Bulls really, really got saved today. Uh, strength again in all these pretty big earnings today. And not only, uh, not only uh, was there really good numbers uh, in technology, you got Skechers, right? Skechers, uh, Skechers came out with a pretty good quarter, right? Nice quarter. That's retail. Uh, you had Boyd Gaming, uh, which is the casino space. You had a lot of really good industries uh, doing very, very well on the earnings front, which again, which is the complete opposite of the picture that Walmart painted today, right? Walmart p painted a picture, it was actually last night, that nobody's spending money, right? Nobody's spending money, nobody has any money. All these industries are going to hell in a handbasket and just like that, and this is why again, we turn around and be like, this is the greatest reality show that's not on television. Bad sometimes means good, good sometimes means bad, Good sometimes means good, and bad sometimes means bad, but this is why we continue to play the game. So right now, I have no ideas, because again, it's getting a little late, I'm trying to re record the video. The only thing we're looking at right now, the indexes, obviously I'm gonna, re I'm, gonna do a, I'm gonna go through a whole bunch of charts tonight and get us ready just in case the upside starts getting confirmed by that 302 level the previous day. So after this, I have to go look at charts again, but at least the most important part is technically we are intact. And again, as we say this all the time, the longer we build above the 50 day moving average, the higher probability that we will start moving back higher. Uh, tomorrow, right? The big numbers for tomorrow, let me just look at the scoreboard really quickly. Tomorrow we got uh, Meta who got absolutely slaughtered today. Again, congratulations for all you guys. Uh, who caught that 164 pivot, went all the way down to 57. Uh, you got shot, and again, look, look at the picture. Think about, think about what realistically happened in the last three, four hours versus what happened throughout the day. You had, you had, you had the disgusting pre-announcement by Walmart, right? You had Shopify this morning coming out, you know, coming out and be like, look, we're, we're cutting, you know, we're cutting 10% of our workforce, the stock got, you know, destroyed. You had Coinbase, you know, this, this predible folk, there was no good news on the horizon. So I'm telling you guys, we came very, very close to doing some technical damage and giving back key levels. But again, Microsoft, Chipotle, Google, Texan, and everything else in between really did a great job this evening, save the day, and the Bulls get the fight. Uh, another day. So that's it. Uh, this is the first broadcast that I'm doing that I actually have to redo the watch list. So I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go hit the charts. Uh, please get to morning strategy tomorrow, nice and early for all you guys who are in the webinar. Uh, but the most important part is again, trust the numbers. Opinions don't matter. Uh, your, your, your ability to believe that you know something that the market uh, is doing, it's, it's all nonsense. It's, it's feeding your old ego. I'm doing this for 23 years. Again, like I say, every single day. It's all about preparation. Nobody knows what the market's gonna do. If you polled a thousand people at the close, after Microsoft came out with that number, a thousand and one would have said we're losing that 50 day moving average. Again, that's why we play the game. Guys, God bless everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Let me go back to work, start looking at charts and God's help. I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.